goes down the stretch. You're on the road without your starting point guard. What, what did you feel were the things from a player's view that led to you guys being able to make the plays down the stretch and win a Big Ten road game? Um, I believe it was just confidence in ourselves. I mean, knowing that we, we lost X and one of our, our guards that we needed on the court, but um, Gabe Cups played a tremendous game. Gallo played hard, tough. My guards played solid, trying to uh, get us on me and the ball down low. Um, and just little plays like steals, like from CJ Gunn and stuff like that. So just playing hard and tough um, on the road is, is, is really important because if you still one or two, three games off the road, I mean, you're sitting in a good spot in Big Ten. So um, I think that's really good. Well, how much are you guys kind of feeding off of him now? Um, he's um, tremendous, especially when I'm getting these double teams. He's getting the solo ones, so he's, he's taking advantage of his one-on-one his -on -one advantages and, 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 and scoring at will. So I think that's a good thing for us. Um, and, and he's seven foot. I mean, not too many people is getting to his sky hooks or his jump hooks or his fadeaway jumpers. So, I mean, it, it's wide open shots for him. And, and, and we let him take it, and he, and he knocks him down. We give him that confidence that he needs to shoot those type of shots, and it goes in. So. Um, I just, I, he just coming to together well, and I think it's just a great move for us. That's kind of cool. poise down the stretch when they're calling your number to just know you can, you know, get a bucket or make a play down the stretch like that. Um, that's just Coach Wilson trusting in me. Um, uh, he's seen me do it multiple times. He, um, he trusts in me, and um, I told the coach, I said, if I get on that uh, on my block, if I get um, enough time to go, I'm gonna score. He trusted in me. And, we kept going um, back to the, to the block, and, really, how much and, I, and I slowed down a little bit on, um, especially the second half, um, especially when they were double team to get the ball out and, and don't uh, turn the ball over. Um, so that was my thought. If they don't double team quick enough, then I'll go. And if they did, then I'll get the ball out. Malik, can you put into work? You mentioned a cool sky hook that you used today. How hard is that to, to defend? Go up high, go on it, does it in practice? I mean, it's a, it's a tough shot to defend, especially at his height, because he's jumping on it too. So he's he's no longer seven foot when he goes up in that air. So he's like, well, he's, he's already he's above the basket when he's shooting my shot. So he's right there. I mean, thank God he didn't get caught for the little hook he had on it. But <laughs> I mean, it went in. So was, Malik. Malik, it looked like towards the end of the game you were reading the double teams really well and passing out of that. Is that some of the coaching staff was talking to you about? Yeah, Coach Cheney pulled me over at a uh, media timeout and said, um, if you're getting double teamed, you just got to trust your teammates. And, uh, and I started trusting my teammates, and they trusted in me to get the ball out to them. And we made some huge plays down the stretch um, when I kicked the ball out, um, moving the ball and getting the end one from Gallup and stuff like that. So. I just think we play um, great going down the stretch, and that's what we need to do. CJ, Mike kind of spoke glowingly about your performance tonight. What does is, what is a, a game like this do for your confidence? It's amazing. You know, I've been waiting for this game. And, you know, this is just um, proof of all the work that I've been putting in and stacking up bigs leading up to the game. Did you get the cut in your eye on that one exchange up and on the yes, floor? Yes, on, on the fast break. Did you worry about getting poked in the eye I mean, there? I, I, for a minute, I thought my eye was loose. Like, <laughs> it's a little cut, so it ain't nothing to do with it. Malik, you and CJ are in that same sophomore class, and you guys have been working together a lot. Seeing him have a performance like tonight, what does that do for him? Uh, it's, a, it's, de it's definitely a confident booster for us and for CJ. I mean, just knowing that we got um, a solid bench coming off, the, uh, coming off and, and, and giving a solid minute, starting minutes, it, it's just unbelievable to see. And it, it just gives us more confidence in our bench. When me, I get in the foul trouble, can look in the foul trouble, or or when our guards in um, tremendous foul trouble, we can trust in our bench to go out there and help us and provide a spark for us and get us what we need on that court. CJ, you got uh, four steals tonight off the bench in a big 10 road game. It's a really big number. Just sort of what's your mindset and approach defensively, and, and how much work are you putting in to be impactful on that? Um, just being in the right spots, you know, uh, we have a defensive scheme, and Coach Coles is accountable to being in the right places at the right time. And, you know, with my speed and athleticism, I feel like his, his defense is a great setup for me to be able to get steals. CJ, you, you said guys, you guys got over 150 points tonight, both, both, both teams. Do you like to play this up-tempo game? You think that fits your style? Yes, sir, of course. Getting in transition, is, that, that's part of my game, and, and that's what I really like to do. So whenever we get a chance to uh, get out get out on the open court, that's what I prefer. How good do you guys feel when you see the defending, defending an inbound space? Uh, you know, uh, Coach, Coach drew that up last second and told Khalil to get on the ball. So uh, that really just uh, show, shows us how much our coach knows the game. You know, he, him putting Khalil right there in that position um, set us up for the win. 
Excuse me, how's it feel when you see that first one go down? You know, you've been kind of struggling from three. Does your confidence level just that when that first one goes down, just feel that much better to keep playing hard and see another one? Yes, sir. Um, even if I would have missed it, you know, I still, I still would have acted like nothing happened. But, you know, um, just all the work I've been putting in, you know, getting the shots up with Jordy and, and guys and Coach Chaney, um, you know, I, I wasn't really nervous to take the shot. And I'm glad it, I'm glad it felt because it, it definitely it definitely boosted my confidence for the rest of the game. CJ. Shoot, right? What'd you say? Shoot, shoot, right? Yes, sir. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. CJ, you said you've been kind of waiting for a performance like this in those times when it wasn't coming. What kept you going? Um, like I said, the work. You know, even, I don't know, y'all probably noticed, but yesterday I was sick. You know, I didn't even practice. So leading up to the game, I was just ready to go out there and do whatever I had to do to help the team get the win. And, you know, I went out there and I, and I played well and coach, coach touched me at the end of the day.